going on, moviegoers? So if you're new to the channel, my name is Christian, and welcome to SeaWorld Productions. You guys, so now we've all been waiting for this whole Disney-Fox merger to be complete. As it always seems like it's getting pushed back, getting pushed back, and getting pushed back. Because this is a massive deal when we're talking about another corporation taking over an entire corporation. It is a big deal. So things like this do take some time. It is massive. And, you know, being a Marvel Studios fan, when, you know, the official news came out that, you know, Disney was going to purchase 20th Century Fox, I was so excited because I was like, oh my God, like, we finally get to see the X-Men, the Fantastic Four, and all the other characters that 20th Century Fox owned brought back home to Marvel Studios, opening so many floodgates to how many films that Marvel Studios can now accomplish over the next 15 to 20 years. When you're thinking about it, like, man, they can do all these X-Men movies. They can do all these Fantastic Four movies. Like, they have so many characters now that they were acquiring from 20th Century Fox. And I'm like, I cannot wait to see what the Marvel Cinematic Universe is going to look like over the next, I say, that over the next six to eight years. Like, it's going to be mind-boggling and be like, oh my God, we can actually use the phrase mutants in this universe, you know, without any copyright things. Because, you know, at the end of Winter Soldier, that post credit scene, you know, uh, when they're with the twins, he said miracles. I was like, really, miracles? Because the twins are, you know, they're X-Men characters, you know, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. They're the children of Magneto. And he couldn't say the word miracles, so they opted out and said I, wait, they couldn't use the word mutants, so they opted out and said the word miracles. I was like, come on, come on, really? So, I don't know, it, it, it was a bummer. But now that, you know, it's looking like this deal is going to be finalized as soon as next week. I'm going to read you guys a little bit of this article on We Got It Covered. If you guys haven't followed them, the MCU Cosmic on Twitter. Some good stuff, you guys. The Fantastic Four and X-Men come home to Marvel Studios next week. That already sounds so good to me. For these last few months, it's consistently felt like the Disney-Fox merger was just around the corner, only for the deal to be pushed back a little further. But per a new media release from Disney, it seems that we're now slightly over a week from the acquisition being finalized. As it stands, the historic deal is expected to close by 12.02 a.m. Eastern on Wednesday, March 20th, next week. Before that, it is said that the deadline for Fox shareholders to elect the form of consideration they'd like to receive is 5 p.m. Eastern this Thursday. And that, and that Fox is expected to distribute these holdings at 8 a.m. Eastern on Tuesday, March 19th. After that, the transaction will reportedly be complete less than 24 hours later. That's so awesome. In case... It needed to be said, the deal is set to bring about some of the huge changes in the entertainment industry, but Marvel Studios in particular, the lane will soon be clear for Kevin Feige and his team to bring the X-Men and Fantastic Four into the MCU. Now, like I said, this is massive. This is huge. Like the fact that, you know, Marvel Studios is about to, you know, acquire all of these rights to all these characters that they never had at the beginning. Like, can you imagine, like, if... Warner Brothers, right? Warner Brothers didn't have the rights to like a Superman, Aquaman, and Wonder Woman. They had Batman and like Shazam, you know, the Flash and Green Lantern, right? Their universe was mixed. Other companies own bits and pieces of those characters, right? Imagine if, you know, Marvel wasn't like that. Imagine if Marvel had all the rights to all their characters from day one, from day one, like 2008, right? They make the first Iron Man. But Kevin Feige and Marvel Studios literally have all the all the rights to like Sony properties. I mean, all the Spider-Man villains stuff that Sony has and the 20th Century Fox stuff. That would be massive. That would be huge. But unfortunately, it didn't work like that. You know, I guess Stan Lee sold the rights to certain companies, you know, and it got mixed up. Um, but this is huge. This is huge, especially for being, you know, a Marvel fan. You know, it sucks. I will have to say it sucks for all the jobs that will be lost. Because, you know, losing a job is not easy. And finding work is not easy. Especially in this economy. It's very hard. Very, very hard. So, you know, my best wishes and lucks to all the people who lost their jobs. Like, I, I wish you the best of luck when you're finding something new. You know, because I know it's not hard. I mean, sorry. I know it's not easy. It's very difficult. Um, so, my condolences. But, you know, being a fan, this is massive. Like, I've always wanted to see, you know, Captain America interact with a Wolverine. You know, like something along those lines. 
you know, a Fantastic Four with Spider-Man, you know, the bag over the, 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 <laughs> the, the paper bag Spider-Man over the head, like stuff like that, you know, this is going to be massive. I want to see a Johnny Storm and Spider-Man together, you know, I cannot wait to see what Kevin Feige in Marvel Studios really has in mind when incorporating all of these characters, a brand new universe. Yeah, they have some of their X-Men characters, which films come out this year, like New Mutants and Dark Phoenix, but that will be the end of the Fox X-Men. That will be the complete end, and Disney and Marvel will completely revamp it, recast it, and do it the way they want to, which I cannot wait, because I don't want anything from, you know, the 20th Century Fox X-Men. Just the whole entire Deadpool universe I'm fine with, and maybe James McAvoy is Professor X. But if you're going to cast, a, you know, a Magneto, Michael Fassman is great, don't get me wrong, but... He needs to be a little bit older, <coughs> excuse me, if he was going to play, you know, the, the dad of Scarlet Witch, you know, but I'm excited as you guys, this is big news, big, big news. Next week, the uh, official announcement will come out and saying that the, the complete merger will be done and I will do another video next week when it is, you guys. I'm super excited. I'll post your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about the Disney and Fox merger being complete by next week and what is the one crossover you cannot wait to see in the Marvel Cinematic Universe when they require the rights to these beloved characters. Post your comments down below, you guys, and thank you for taking time today for watching CO Productions. Peace.